Hello and welcome to the Garage Series for Office 365. My name is Jeremy Chapman. And I'm Klaus Langhout. So today we've got a special topic. We're going to talk about Azure Remote App. Now, a few months back, we had shared computer activation on the show, which, by the way, is available now for use. But we're going to look at Azure Remote App to deliver Office to end users. So here on the iPad, I have the Remote Desktop Client App. OK. So I click on that. And here at the very middle section, I see that I actually have Excel, Project, and Visio that have been published to me before from over here. So mm -hmm. if I click on Visio, uh, and this is going over the Wi-Fi network in, in the room, so no, no smoke and mirrors. And it's starting up the RDP session. And here I have Visio that I was working on this morning for this conversation. Right. And so I was putting in some information about the architecture. And the one thing I messed up on was I didn't put uh, .com down here. So I can add that in real quickly. And then I'm done. And this is great showing you that you can basically use an app like Visio that we don't have a native iPad client for especially. Correct. One of the other things that's really cool is you can upload your own customized VHD files, right? That's correct. With the hybrid deployment, you also have the VPN back to your uh, corporation. So you can actually use your own image, and you can also use your SQL database or other file shares that those applications require. Which is really cool from an Office 365 perspective, because let's say you've got Office 365 Pro Plus, a bunch of add-ins, a bunch of other dependent apps, maybe your ERP system, that kind of stuff. You can upload your own VHD file with all of that already baked in. That's right. So if your Office applications have integration with a line of business application, they can still work really well with this solution. Very cool stuff. 